As the youngest in a family of 10, I was taught how to learn backwards. Instead of garnering growth from my own experiences, I found myself avoiding my siblings' failures. I saw their nine paths in front of me and decided to create my own. I'd be the first in my family to go to college. I'd be a Husky. I've learned the most as a Carlson Civic Fellow. As a sophomore, I began answering phones for youth in distress at Teen Link. No matter the problem, I believed I could help them. I was wrong. One night, for a half hour, I listened to a caller cry. She told me about the chronic pain and abuse she lives with every day. When she finally hung up, still crying, I felt like I hadn't helped. I'd wasted her time. My supervisor noticed I was upset. She explained to me that what I just did was listen to someone who has no one else who will. Last winter, I bus to SeaTac each week to tutor Somali refugees. Some of these students didn't know how to spell their names, some not their ABCs. Even so, I didn't feel like my job was to teach them how to read or write. For the two hours I was there, I talked to them like they were people, play soccer with them, joke around, ask them how their day was going. They just need to know someone cares. Only then, their ABCs can fall into place. I went to class on my 19th birthday, and it seemed like no one cared. I turned to the girl sitting next to me and somehow let her know it was my birthday. After class, she insisted on buying me cake and taking me out. This was the first moment I felt a true connection to the people at the UW. As I pursue my psychology and sociology degree at this huge university, I spend less time with my blood family. But that's okay, because I'm lucky I get to spend so much time with my new extended family here at the UW. My name is Stephen Rowe. I'm a Husky, and this is my story.